How Expert! Top 10 Montana Tourist Attractions How Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more How Expert Top 10 videos in the future. Moving on, let's talk about the How Expert Top 10 Montana Tourist Attractions. Number 10. World Museum of Mining in Butte, Montana One of the most rockin' stops in Montana is this small town museum located in Butte. The museum was founded with the goal of preserving an often overlooked portion of American history, and this little diamond in the rough has followed ever since it opened its doors in 1965. There are several exhibits to check out during your visit, such as a full-scale recreation of a mining town from the 1890s called Hell Roarin' Gulch. 35 of the buildings in the town were built using old materials and techniques by volunteers from the 60s to the 80s, and the others are intact historic structures that were brought all the way to the museum. Of course, you can't go to a mining museum without experiencing firsthand a piece of what the brave men venturing beneath the earth experienced. The museum's main feature is the Orphan Girl Mine Yard, with many original and restored structures from the mine's heyday. They offer a tour that takes you 100 feet underground, and even this small fraction of the mine's 2,700-foot depth holds many wonders. Get ready to be fitted with miners' caps and lamps and hear stories of the miners while exploring the original shaft station and the Orphan Girl Vein, one of the only exposed veins in North America that is available to the public. This blast from the past is sure to satisfy if you're passing through the region. Number 9. Ringing Rocks in Pipestone, Montana This one follows a path less traveled by, but is well worth the journey to hear these mysterious stones. Once you find the right path, what you're greeted with doesn't appear as much more than a large pile of rocks. I've already been to the mining museum, you may be thinking, but bring along a hammer or find a smaller rock in the area to hit a larger one and you'll hear the magic. When lightly tapped with either of the aforementioned tools, an almost metallic chime emanates from the stone, growing louder and changing pitch depending on the rock. This is believed to be due to the formation of the boulders and the joining patterns between all the boulders as they have eroded away. Should a rock be removed from the pile, it no longer emits that signature ring. A word to the wise, this natural formation is a bit off the beaten path, so make sure to bring bear spray with your picnic. As one of the most fascinating natural phenomena in the state, this musical attraction proves that appearances aren't everything. Number 8. Bannock Ghost Town in Dillon, Montana The remains of the mining boom towns are scattered across Montana, but one that remains a standout is the ghost town of Bannock in Dillon. The area boomed when gold was found in 1862, spawning a town with 60 buildings, multiple churches, a store, a Masonic lodge, and a schoolhouse. A numbered guide is available at the visitor center to lead you on your trip to the past through the carefully preserved town remains. One particular stop in this town are the makeshift original gallows, built in 1863 by acting Sheriff Henry Plummer. Hangin' Henry, as he came to be known, ended up a victim of his own creation after it was discovered he led a killer gang. Similar sites, with stories of vigilante justice being carried out, are present in the town, and many who visit report strange sightings and hauntings. After the gold vanished, the boom of the town did too. It was bought by preservationists and donated to the state of Montana in 1954. The unique part about this was the condition that it not be developed into a tourist attraction, so that it wouldn't rival the already existing Virginia City. Thus, the streets of Bannock remain ghostly, or at least not as crowded as other tourist attractions. Whether you're there for the history or the spooks, Bannock won't leave you hanging. Number 7. The Shire of Montana in Trout Creek, Montana the films may be set across the globe, but even Montana has a sliver of Lord of the Rings fantasy just southeast of Trout Creek. The Shire of Montana has been voted in the top-ranked movie theme hotels in the world, and for good reason. Every part of the property has been built and designed with magic in mind, from fairy doors scattered about to a whole elven village. 
the single guest house is both aesthetically beautiful and eco-friendly and features all the comforts of home while escaping to a world of fantasy. No need to worry about battling trolls here. Instead, you'll spend your time admiring views of the nearby ranches or taking a boat to visit the in-progress castle structure. The goal Steve and Chris Michaels had when building the Shire was to bring out the inner child in everyone when they visit, just as the books of J.R.R. Tolkien did for them. Safe to say they have more than accomplished that goal. See the photos for yourself and get ready to enjoy your own second breakfast in this slice of Montana heaven. Number 6. The Sip and Dip Mermaid Bar in Great Falls, Montana We travel from the woods of the Shire to the tropics for our next stop, the Sip and Dip Mermaid Bar in Great Falls. Once a normal bar that happened to have a glass wall view into the swimming pool at the O'Hare Motor Inn, the Mermaid Fantasy was originally brought to life in 1995 after the manager convinced a housekeeper of the hotel to don a mermaid suit and swim behind the glass wall. It made a splash with patrons, and majestic mermaids have been keeping patrons entertained ever since. They now have six mermaids on staff, having mermaid shows throughout the regular hours. They even have a ladies' night featuring mermen weekly. See why this local hotspot was named the number one bar worth flying for by GQ, and take a detour to the tropics in the landlocked Big Sky State. Number 5. Big Sky Resort in Big Sky, Montana one of the best outdoor playgrounds in the state, Big Sky Resort is a perfect attraction for those with a heart for adventure. Start the journey off at the base of Lone Peak in the Big Sky Mountain Village. This hub of the resort offers dining, shopping, gear rentals, and more. This area offers easy access to some of the mountain terrain in the summer or winter with convenient chairlifts. In the summer, the resort acts as an outdoorsman's paradise with mountain bike paths, access to scenic lift rides, zip lining, guided hikes, archery, and so much more. There's even an expedition to the very top of Lone Peak, suited for any age or fitness level. Where the resort truly shines, though, is their winter season. Around 400 inches of beautiful powder snow falls on the entire acreage of the resort each winter, making some of the best skiing conditions in the country. They have an even mix of beginner to expert skiing paths, ensuring that everyone can enjoy this spectacular experience. Even if skiing isn't your thing, Big Sky Resort has you covered with meandering snowshoe tours, snowmobiling, dog sledding, and even sleigh rides. Be sure to book well in advance, because this is a resort you certainly won't want to miss. Number 4. Haver Beneath the Streets in Haver, Montana Heading to the northern part of the state, this attraction requires you to go a bit deeper. Hidden beneath the little railroad town Haver is an abandoned city, carved out tunnels, and caverns made over 100 years ago. When a fire raised the entire town, residents had to find a way to continue life until they could rebuild. Not having many other places to go, they decided to go down. A surprising amount of businesses continued beneath the surface, a dentistry, meat market, and saloon to name a few. Along with some of the expected, you can find cramped opium dens, a bordello, and tunnels that were used by Asian railroad workers and families to have sanctuary, or later on, smuggle alcohol during Prohibition. A lot of the artifacts displayed are originals, like meat hooks and smokers in the meat market, or wax molds used for dentures in Dr. Wright's 1920s dentistry. Haver Beneath the Streets has been in operation since 1999, almost entirely self-funded even with the massive work that went into stabilizing and reviving the spaces. When looking for eclectic Montana history, this stop is a true definition of a hidden gem. Number 3. Museum of the Rockies in Bozeman, Montana Montana isn't only rich in small-town history. One of Montana's main draws are things older than most of us can even comprehend, and things we've all grown up watching shake the glass in Jurassic Park. Dinosaurs. The fossil record in the state dates back to the earliest parts of the planet's history. It's fitting, then, that one of the largest collections of fossils in the world is located in Bozeman, Montana at the Museum of the Rockies. The Museum of the Rockies is an affiliate of the Smithsonian and Montana State University and was founded in 1957. The museum's founder, Dr. Carolyn McGill, also served as the first to donate to their exhibits. For almost 20 years, the museum was managed by volunteers in the Bozeman area. 
As buildings were constructed and more curators joined in, the museum expanded into the wonder it is today. You only have to drive by to see Big Mike, a more 555 T-Rex statue cast from the bones of a Montana discovery. Their Siebel Dinosaur Complex is the next facet in this crown jewel of Montana, showing a vast range of fossils from dinosaur eggs to towering mounted skeletons of mammoths and more. The museum offers more than just a prehistoric glimpse into Montana's past, also showcasing Native American history and art in Welcome to Yellowstone Country or regional artifacts from the earliest exploration of the state to World War II. Take in a much wider view in the Taylor Planetarium, which has multiple showings daily, and if you plan it right, there may be a totally unique exhibit rotating in for you to experience. No matter who you are, the Museum of the Rockies is sure to engage your imagination, inspire you to learn, and show you many new discoveries. Number 2. Chico Hot Springs, near Prey, Montana In the heart of Montana's Paradise Valley, an oasis is nestled between the mountains. Chico Hot Springs was established in 1900 as the Chico Warm Springs Hotel, primarily housing those seeking their fortune in areas nearby rumored to have gold. It outgrew its original space within a few years, and extensions kept having to be added. A mere 14 years after opening, Chico went from housing only 10 guests to housing over 60. Around this time, a 20-room hospital wing with a lab, six exam rooms, and even an operation room was added to the premises. One of the first brain surgeries in this region was performed by Dr. George A. Townsend in his time at Chico. Chico was rebranded many times after the doctor left and the original owners passed, a health spa, guest ranch, church camp, retreat center, and finally the destination resort and spa we visit today. There are several dining options, including the award-winning historic dining room and the Chico Saloon. During your stay, you can ride horses, take a scenic hike, go river rafting, fly fishing, spend the day at the day spa, or of course, soak your worries away in the geothermally heated hot spring pools. Chico offers a piece of family-friendly Montana heaven for all who visit, and it's worth the trip to experience the relaxation and wonder for yourself. Number 1. Glacier National Park Montana is filled with unique history and eclectic locations but its most timeless and stunning feature will always be the nature available to explore. Nowhere is this more beautiful to behold than Glacier National Park. Located in the northern reaches of the state, Glacier was established as the United States' 10th National Park in 1910 for its unique scenic beauty, variety of wildlife to view and learn about, and of course, its glaciers. When the park was founded, there were as many as 80 glaciers in the area that would later become the park. The newest satellite imagery shows only 26 remaining as of 2015, making the name a bit of a misnomer as it's hard to see an active glacier in the park. Despite that, the park still offers more than enough to be worth the trip. There are hundreds of species of birds and mammals to watch, with guided hikes and trails to wander on your own. You can stay in more extravagant historical lodging, rent a little cabin, or just camp out. The name may not be familiar, but odds are you've seen a photo of the crystal clear Lake McDonald and its colorful stones, which is just as beautiful in person. You can travel through the park along the Going to the Sun Road, which is famous for the indescribable views of the park's landscapes. You may spot a mountain goat going by the Logan Pass, or even a moving glacier by the Jackson Glacier Overlook. Photos of this national treasure can hardly do it justice, and you owe it to yourself to visit the number one tourist destination in Montana at least once. If you liked our video, be sure to click like and subscribe for more How Expert Top 10 videos for all topics from A to Z in the future. Also, let us know what other topics that you want us to do a How Expert Top 10 video in the future in the comments below. Thank you, have an amazing day, and take care. How Expert publishes quick how to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more.